firefighter injured, mandatory evacuation in Rockton from fire at Camp Tool facility. According to the Rockton Fire Chief, an area within a one-mile radius of the Camp Tool plant in Rockton is under a mandatory, full-scale evacuation. One firefighter was injured and several fire crews are at the scene of a structure fire at Camp Tool on Prairie Hill Road in Rockton Monday morning. Around 7 a.m., multiple area fire departments were called to 1165 Prairie Hill Road in Rockton for reports of smoke showing at Camp Tool Incorporated. Some neighbors reported hearing small explosions and fire burns with smoke being seen for miles. According to the Rockton Fire Chief, an area within a one-mile radius of the Camp Tool plant in Rockton is under a mandatory, full-scale evacuation. Those within the evacuation zone map head to Rockton Middle School and Roscoe Middle School, according to the Village of Rockton and the Rockton Police Department. All residents and businesses within a one-mile radius of Camp Tula are directed to evacuate to Roscoe Middle School at 6121 Elevator Road immediately, according to an emergency alert sent out to mobile devices. Williams Tree Farm and Stephen Mack School have shifted their evacuees to Roscoe Middle School. Rockton Fire Chief Kirk Wilson said crews are letting the fire burn itself out, rather than pouring any more water on it out of concern about chemical runoff into the nearby Rock River. Wilson said it could take a matter of days for the fire to completely burn itself out. That's the best thing that we can do right now, Wilson said. The main thing is that we don't want an environmental nightmare to occur, and the reason that we would cause that is by the use of water streams. So we stopped water operations at this point. Wilson said crews also have been conducting air quality tests, and have determined there is no danger to air quality at ground level. I assure you that there is no danger at ground level at the plant, but just for a precautionary measure, we decided that it was in the best interests of community safety that we evacuated the area, he said. Wilson said the fire was already burning through the roof of the plant when the first crews arrived, and at that point there was no stopping it. He said the plant already has been pretty much consumed by the fire. This was a fast-moving fire. It was wind-driven, he, 